everybody, we are back, and I'm very, very excited to have um, my next guest with me. So, anybody and everybody who may own a Sharp Electronic item out there is going to be very much into this interview. So, I have with me Doug Albrechts, who is the president of CEO and CEO of Sharp Imaging and Information. And we're still live here, obviously, on the floor at the National Association of Broadcasters Conference. And Doug has been good enough to take some time out of his day to speak with us um, from, of course, his point of view, being able to see this from major brand yeah. point of view. And um, thank you so much for, for being with us. Very excited to yeah. have you here. Thanks for having um, me. Is this your first NAB, by the way? I'm sure it isn't, right? Well, we, this is the first NAB where we've been full out having a large presence and having some space on the floor. So, is it really? I'm yeah. surprised. Why did you pick this year for that? Well, it's this is the first year where we, we have a story, and I think a really good story, where we're targeting the broadcast industry around AK and the AK ecosystem. So we're we're showing an AK camera and we're showing some AK displays. So For those who are watching who may not know, break down for me please AK. Well, it's, I'm not a math major, but right now 4K okay. is out on the market. So if you think of 8K, it's 16 times the resolution of 4K. Um, so if you think of looking at images, when you're looking at uh, Niagara Falls, it's almost like you're, you're sitting looking at Niagara Falls. It's real, it's almost 3D for the human eye. Uh, so it's a, it's a totally different experience. And so it has ramifications beyond just broadcast, but many different fields. So, we're really excited about the technology, but for us, it starts here at NAB because we're focusing primarily on broadcast. How interesting, and I mean, I think a lot of companies obviously feel that many things, as you said, do start right here at NAB. What do you think is the impact of this conference overall for those in the entire ecosystem you know, of broadcast today? Why is this such an important conference, and what kind of business do you believe takes place here for those who maybe have never been before? Well, I, you know, it's, it's, it's a great question. So you think, you know, we're, like I just said, we're showing an AK camera and an AK display, but the ecosystem around being able to transmit content mm -hmm. and create content hasn't really existed, at least AK content. And so the ecosystem of bringing that all together, when you distribute, when you edit, when you store it, when you want to send it over the internet, maybe an AK photo and yeah. have access to it, this, this whole environment with an NAB, there's a lot of people that are going to play a part in that ecosystem. So for us, you know, we're looking for partnerships and we're looking for, for technologies that we can't create on our own. Okay. So it's very impactful for us to be here. So now, when will your products actually roll out? Because they're not, you're obviously yeah. demonstrating them here. Yeah. What's kind of the lead time on average from demonstrating in April to when they would actually be purchased? Well, well, first off, we could be doing this in 8K today, right now. So uh, exciting. But, but we're not. So Japan market, for instance, is starting to broadcast in 8K this late fall or early winter time frame. The 2020 Olympics will be filmed in 8K. Wow. And so all the security will be done in 8K. So your question was, when will we be having 8K? Um, we're going to have 8K displays and an 8K camera at the end of 2018. So okay. it's really here. It's okay. here now. What, if you could speak to this at all, sure. what do you think um, market potential is, revenue, et cetera, around 8, 8K overall or from Sharp's perspective? I mean, you know, obviously this is something that has been talked about uh, sure. for, for quite a while. As you said, you know, we're looking at 8K, we're looking at 5G. I mean, everything is taking off. From a business perspective, though, what what is it about it that excites, I think, the corporation most when this is you know, a business opportunity, when you look at it from that point of view? Well, because it's going to change the way we live, okay? So when you think of security in a large stadium, it's mm -hmm. going to, you know, we have the ability to focus in with artificial intelligence and 5G, we have the ability to scan an entire stadium and be able to do a facial recognition scan from very far away. So you don't need as many cameras. So it's going to change the way we live. Take healthcare, for instance. Surgeries mm -hmm. will be done in 8K and physicians will be able to collaborate with one another right. and be able to help one another. So, so our feeling is it's going to change the way we live and, and Sharp is going to help drive that. And the ecosystem around it, 5G, artificial intelligence, are all going to play a, a vital role. The key thing is content though. When 4K came out, content was slow and this is why we're, we're offering a camera uh, and we're, we're, we've brought it to market and going to have it this January. Because of that, we'll be able to create the content. So it's here and now. Interesting. And so obviously Sharp has a booth here and we you're do. making it happen. We well, do. Best of luck with everything. Thank you very much. Major success, but I don't have to you know, give too much success to Sharp. I think it's a brand everybody probably knows. But I think the AK space, like you said, is just really fascinating to watch. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing with us and continued um, success during the rest of the festival. Keep the energy up, or rather you the bet. conference. Yeah. Keep the energy up. Thank Thanks you so for having much, me here. Doug. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Absolutely.